خلي شوف يعني نفجر الحال نقطع الجر حتى يدي من الداخل ورتا الشيتان به من هون ومن هون كل شيء ومن ثم ضغط غول عظام في الجله ويوم اللي خالق مالكن هاي الشتاريه وهي الغاون الارض مزقوها الناس ياسر التمزيق داروها ياسر للغام والغناب اللي كان لا اللي ما دارهم بيدهم في التراب يدرون طيارهم السماء Hi, my name is David Elliott. I am the, the program manager here in Western Sahara for Landmine Actions program. Uh, the program here in Western Sahara is predominantly a Sarahawi uh, managed and run program. Um, all of our field staff are local staff, um, but we also have a number of visiting staff. At the moment we have a medic here called Ralph, um, who's visiting the program for one month um, to run a medical training course essentially to train up a small number of the team uh, so that they can be competent in managing casualty evacuation and uh, other medical procedures in the event of an accident. Based at the camp here we have two teams, uh, two teams of five. Um, the main job of the teams has been this year to undertake survey of the northern region of Western Sahara. When they come across items of unexploded ordnance um, which are posing a particular threat to the local population. They'll destroy those as they go along with the survey work. These items of ordnance, particularly cluster munitions, are extremely dangerous and uh, they often don't take much movement or force to actually to, to set them off, even though they, they've landed and they haven't set off already. They, they might be on the brink of, of going. Our survey teams have identified approximately 100 cluster strikes in the north, northern region in Western Sahara and approximately 20 minefields um, and on top of that a number of other items of UXO as well. Much of the contamination in Western Sahara has been around for over 20 years. We believe that given the resources and support we could clear a large majority of the contamination within a couple of years making Western Sahara a far, far safer place for the nomadic people to live.